at some great matches. And this is the first one we're going to have. It's uh, Class 11 between Peter Palos of Hungary and Pascal Pereira Leal of France. Class 11 is for those with an intellectual impairment. And this is how it's looking at the moment with uh, Palos having won one. Martinez, the other man in this group, having lost that match by uh, three games to nil. Uh, but a first outing for the Frenchman, and we'll see how they go in just a few moments' time. It's a massive complex, this. It's got the uh, main arena, two very big practice courts as well. Dining rooms, media rooms, all sorts of things. It's still got a bit of room to spare, this uh, pavilion number three at the Rio Centro. These are our two athletes then, about to get us underway. This is Peter Palos, Hungary, player, 31 years of age now, gold medal at the London Paris. So the man to beat, the man holding the title. This is the world rank number five, Pascal Pereira Leal, 34 years of age, bronze in London. So these two know what it is to stand on the Paralympic podium. And local man in charge, our umpire, Danilo Dos Santos. So as the other tables are introduced, we get ourselves ready and shakes all round. A short period of warming up and then we're underway with this afternoon session. Just a reminder, best of uh, five sets so first to three, of course, we play to 11 points in each game unless it's 10 apiece and then it's the first to two clear points. It's uh, really virtually the same as uh, you find in the Olympic version of table tennis. In uh, some of the classifications, you can bind the table tennis back to your hand and obviously some modifications to the serve requirement to throw the ball up more than six inches, but uh, apart from that, pretty similar. Really out, picking up his bat. Each uh, opponent had to look at the other's bat, make sure there's nothing untoward on there. Very rarely you'll find that, of course, and. Uh, Mr. Dos Santos about to get us underway with the toss, decide who will serve first and who will have which end. And here the Brazilian crowd making a, a lot of noise, getting behind their athletes, of course, around this arena, but this is the match that we are concentrating on between two very good Athletes in uh, class 11. Pascal Pierre Liao debut five years ago and has been playing table tennis since 1994 when he was 12 years of age as well as that bronze in London a world championship gold in Beijing a couple of years ago so a very good player and uh, just a couple of world ranking points behind this man who already has a straight games win to his name gold as we said in uh, London so he is the defending champion of bronze at the 2014 world championship he, uh, he says uh, it seemed an easy sport, just hit the ball on the other side of the net. He went at 14 years of age uh, with his mum to a club. He said, I realised it wasn't quite that easy, but he became obsessed. And as you can see, he is 
a very good player and one of those will be in contention for the gold medal and this should be a, a close match between these two right-handers Interesting, he's had to wait a while, Pereira Leal, for his uh, opportunity to get going. His first match in the uh, Paralympic competition thus far. <laughs> Underway then in this Class 11 Group C match. First uh, to the Frenchman, Pereira Leal. Good level of competition this one and he likes to get onto the forehand doesn't he this time not finding the edge of the table Kept going. Uh, good defensive work from Pereira Leal, but he couldn't deal with the power eventually from Palos. Gets his first point. And again, power and spin just too much. Palos. Looking very strong here. from the Frenchman wouldn't have been pleased with the service before that six points you can uh, take the towel and a little rub down and uh, throughout the match in multiples of six points just to stop them tiling down all the time that's why the IWTF brought that rule in Panos already with a match under his belt of course so probably feeling a little bit more at ease in the arena The net, that'll be a let cord. Good movement from the Frenchman. Keen to get around the table. Oh, a good forehand. Lots of power and top spin on it. Skid it off the bat. Of uh, Palos. It's long. Just finding his range, the man from Hungary. Lives in uh, Budapest, born in Budapest. Oh, well, not dealing with the spin at all well there. Likes to get around on his forehand. Not that keen to play on the backhand. Just looking at a little bit concerned with the situation now. That's a good su swirling serve to keep him in contention here. But, uh, a couple of serves now for the Hungarian to try and wrap this first game up. And that was a lovely point. Took a nibble of the net, but uh, sent the Frenchman the wrong way. And there's five game points for Peter Palos.
at court. Oh, it's wrong. A little bit tentative, the Hungarian. And that's an excellent, excellent attacking shot from Leo. I said it earlier, Leo. He's uh, saved a couple. There's still three game points to go, though. Oh, great rally. And uh, certainly we're at the table well. Oh, diving around. And he will just take a moment to take the towel and recompose himself. Trying to break the momentum that uh, Pereira Liao has. Still game point here. Ah, oh, this time couldn't do it. See what he was going for. And it is the first game wrapped up for Peter Palos. Good quality of play in this uh, first game, but uh, just couldn't get it over the net. Not enough top spin, I think it's fair to say. And the first game in this Group C match goes to the Hungarian. Minutes up, time called by uh, Mr. Dos Santos. Kaos with, of course, that uh, three to nothing victory over Denisos Martinez of Venezuela. So, yet to drop a game in this tournament. Second game, man in blue with the advantage. Frustration from Pereira Leal, but that's a very productive serve, a little inside out backhand from the Hungarian. That's brilliant, very crisp backhands from the Frenchman was saying how he wanted to get back onto his uh, forehand in the first game, but there, bossing the point. Fast, quick returns. that one up, didn't I? I don't know where the, the ball's actually gone. Someone's going to have to go and retrieve it. Put everything into that. And although uh, Pereira Leal got something on, it wasn't enough. And we have the uh, ball back. Classic balls nowadays, of course, used to be acetate, but uh, a real fire risk, so <laughs> more for safety than anything else. Can chip, can crack from time to time. We do see them being replaced from time to time. Good pace of game, this one. And Palos has just got himself. His nose ahead again.
Two points for a win, of course. Uh, one if you lose. Palos wins here. He knows he's through. Helps with the uh, seedings as well for the knockout stages. Very vocal. Very fired up. The 34-year-old from Sojourn. Oh, yes. Coach is on his feet, and why not? Real aggression. That return wasn't good enough from Palos, and it was easy pickings for this man here. And he's got something of a roll on here. Keeping himself in this game. Gonna have to uh, keep working well, though. Well, no back way back for that. Returns just not good enough at the moment from Palos. He's a completely different player in this second game. <laughs> Taking evasive action. They may not be very big or very hard, but they do travel very fast. Oh, a great return. Like a bullet, that one. And Palos just couldn't cope with it. And now it's the Frenchman who has five game points. Oh, well, that was not what he wanted. Still trying to be aggressive. Got that horribly wrong. And there it is, there it is, the second game. And the Frenchman draws level in a really good and even contest. One apiece. First game dropped in this competition for Peter Palos. So, what can Peter Palos do about this? A man from the BVSC club in Budapest. Gold medal winner at the Inas World Championships uh, back in 2005. So, he's been around for a while. He's long, he's uh, furious with himself, Pereira Leal. It may look simple and a basic error, but there's so much spin imparted in these serves that it's a real tricky thing to get it back in some of the uh, confines of the table. And uh, the coaches have one timeout in this match, a one minute timeout. I very much doubt they use it this early on.
three apiece, one game apiece. He said this might be a close one, and it is uh, shaping up to be like that. Took a bit of the net, I think, as it went over, and he missed his target. Panos forced to defend that. Almost undone by the net cord. And he recovered well, Palos. There they are. A little bundle of energy, isn't he, when he's at the table. Nice to get around and hit that forehand down the line. Well, when he's playing well, he really can dominate the table. Palos having to cover a lot of ground to keep that ball coming back. Just didn't really hit that return with enough conviction. Very, very tight, this one. You wouldn't be surprised if it went to five sets. The uh, schedule for these games is normally, they give about 40 minutes, but uh, some of these matches have gone over, such as being the closeness of them. Good power from Palos. Very difficult to control the return. Lots of topspin on it as well, and that will kick off the bat. If you're just flat batting it back to your opponent, it will kick. Oh, what a lovely backhand that was. It was coming at a lick towards him, wasn't it? Yeah, beautifully done. in two minds I think and uh, in the end not doing much at all coach understandably giving some uh, support because he's been playing well but he's a couple of points away from conceding this third game oh he gave it everything didn't he but not enough control in the shot four game points then to nudge ahead into the lead here And there it goes. A lot of spin on that uh, forehand. A lot of top spin and excellent work from Peter Palosh. Regains the initiative. And that's the moment he went 2 1 up. In this tight match, he's 2 1 up in this Group C competition. Fourth game then, can Peter Parash wrap this one up or will it go to a decider? Certainly 
Mira Liao, when he's on song, is a match for anybody. The world number five. Man in blue, of course, the world number three. Polish to serve then. Fourth game. Just pushing his man further and further back, Paros. Oh, it's long. Didn't read the spin at all, and as we're saying, just kicks off the bat. It's just long. He's really frustrated with himself. Pascal Pierre Lial plays some great, great table tennis, but I think the coach has decided that now is the time to bring out that timeout. Very good hand speed, but uh, just starting to lose his radar a little bit. Minute on the timeout clock, of course. In this group C match, that's how it is at the moment. Advantage to the Hungarian. And has been playing since he was 15 years of age, back in uh, 2000. Muriel has been playing since 94, when he was 12 years of age. Did take a while to make his debut. 2011 for France. Much better into the body. Great atmosphere here. Spectators around this big arena. That's lovely, by the way. And the crowd around here will enjoy that. There is a lot with all the different matches going on. But that, you wouldn't see much better on any of the tables than that play from Pereira Liao. Oh, it's just long. Forced him to play in the defensive style. And he certainly was finding the table. The last couple of points. I know the coach said to him, seemed to be having an effect, but he needs to keep going. Just laid on to the shot, Palos. Good uh, spin on that shot from Palos. Deceiving the Frenchman. And he has a two point lead in this fourth game. Small margins, just clipping the net, making it go long. Done. Good power. Really out. These two men not afraid to let their shots off the leash. 
Feet off the ground as he launched that one purely out. And a little lap of honour. And he really is now starting to find his range. That's a great shot. Low, full of topspin, very difficult to deal with. Needs this game to stay in the match. Oh, yes. Well, the Frenchman on a roll now. Paris, a lot of time to think about that. And uh, it was a little bit of a wild shot, if truth be told. Just got a little bit of moisture. The only thing players don't like is uh, sweat on the uh, table. Which is why you see them uh, wiping their hands right by the net. Just to keep it out of harm's way. Anyway, all done and dusted, almost literally. Went for the big one. It wasn't even close. And uh, he knows it. Having a, having a conversation, telling himself to just rein it in a little bit. It's caught. Play that one again. And he's inching closer to this match, isn't he? Peter Palos, a gold medalist from London. Looking to repeat the dose here. Has to get through the uh, group stages first and a win here. And that's done and dusted. Oh, just not enough on it. He won't want to let the Frenchman back into this. Just a little bit lacking gas, that return. No! Oh, and it's long. It's long again, nine apiece. And the Frenchman has to serve as well, which should give him a, a slight advantage. Well, you can see what he was trying to do, but just not enough topspin to bring it back down again. Oh, and a chance now to level it up at two games apiece. And it might be close this one. Oh, and he's put it into the net. So, first one for with a two point clear advantage. And now it's Palos who has the advantage because he has the serve. Serve will alternate. Now we've got to this stage. And when it's long, good serve from Palos. Match point then. And this will take him through to the knockout stages as well. Oh, well, he's not going to give up just yet, is he, the Frenchman? Forehand working very nicely. Working the table, working Palos. 
11 apiece then. Tight as you can get. And once again, a match point. Again, he squanders it a little bit too defensive, I think. It's fair to say from Palos. Come on, says the French coach. And he's hanging in here. Saved two match points. Once again, it's long this time from Pereira Liao. So, a third match point for the Hungarian. And once again, it's uh, the Frenchman who has to serve. Just a little bit of moisture on the uh, back front. Uh, Pereira Liao to serve here. Palos perhaps needs to be a little less defensive on these points. Oh, and it's long. Oh, well. Very frustrating for him, a 31-year-old, actually three years younger than his opponent. Oh, it's gone long. He did everything but nail the smash. Another match point, Palos knows he's a bit lucky there. That was an unforced error. Got to get the top spin. You've got to get it on the end of the table. And once again, <laughs> he's saved the match point. No wonder he's smiling. A rueful grin, really. Oh, this is a bit of an epic. Another chance. This game, 11 minutes long now. Actually twice as long as all the others. Fifth match point then. And he's done it. Well, it's an excellent rear guard action from Pereira Leal. He saved four match points. He couldn't save the fifth. And uh, it's into the knockout stages for the Hungarian Peter Palos. Pereira Leal has to play Denisos Martinez. They're both on one point at the moment. But uh, celebrations and uh, I'm sure a bit of relief for the Hungarian who is the winner of this match in four games. There's confirmation.